All right, welcome back to Streets of Rage 4. Um, sorry if I'm being inconsistent with, inconsistent with the uploads. Uh, so last time we went crazy with Floyd. Actually, we tried all uh, Cherry and uh, Blaze also. So this time I'm going to go for Axel. Um, it's kind of broad in this game, but anyway. So um, I recorded this, but I forgot to... Uh, turn on my mic so I basically sat here and talked to myself for an hour or something I don't know um, so yeah and anyway I'm gonna skip this scene because we did that last time uh, going on the cargo ship so I'm gonna try to narrate what past time Matt is or past Matt's is doing his Trying to learn the controls again, it seems. And learning mechanics the hard way. Right? I'm beating up on some guys. Um, and uh, swearing a bit, I guess, because... Ooh. But uh, Axel is giving the business, bringing the business to everyone here. Uh, he's quite beefy and... Uh, this guy, this Kiki guy, is a new acquaintance, which will uh, be my nemesis throughout this episode. Um, they, I really can't handle him. Yeah, and this is when I start to realize that they are more dangerous than they look, because they haven't been very dangerous in the past, and now they just kick the crap out of you, because they can. So, uh, and. Uh, and uh, I have very little life to work with and I die of course I die um, so uh, by the way while we're watching me beating up guys what have you been up to lately have you been in quarantine doing stuff and things oh and I, <laughs> it's a good idea to jump out of, out of the way. This, um, this episode I will uh, start learning what those stars do. And I can't get anywhere through that container, I realize. So here we go, more kicky guys. And uh, you can use those uh, barrels to your advantage. And yeah, that guy is <laughs> really annoying. Um, it's like doing inhuman stuff or things that shouldn't be physically possible. Uh, but he doesn't care about physics and stuff. So he just multi jumps through the air and everything. Of course, this game isn't all about that stuff that makes you and that is natural and all that. All right, Big Ben. This is an old favorite from uh, Streets of Rage 2 and 1. And don't know, is he in 3 also? I don't remember. And now I try to get him next to the barrel so I can do the trick. Works out. And he certainly has been eating something inappropriate. I would see a doctor for that gas leak. I don't know, problem? Ow. And then I die. <laughs> just, just pokes me and then I find the apple, which I would have needed all along. Getting kind of mad here because I get beaten, beaten up. And uh, yeah, there we go. That's the shit for that guy. And I miss. And he starts kicking, kicking again. I pick up another uh, thing. No, I don't. I actually have the same one, but that's life. So 
this is going quite poorly. As, as you can see, I'm at zero life, and uh, there's still a lot of guys to uh, punch through, as well as a boss, of course, because every stage has a boss. So, I hope I don't spoil things for you by saying that, but it shouldn't be a problem. Anyway. Come on. Give them the business, Axel. Give them the big bad Axel business. But he's been given the business himself. He, they give the business to him. I guess he would rather start his own, but now he's just a silly employee of their business, which they gave to him. Like nobody's business. But it's actually their bit. Anyway. And of course, that guy deals with me handily and I have to start over, start the stage over once more. And I realize that, that there are stuffs to be had. Um, you can add lives and shit for points. And since I don't care very much for points, about points here, I'm willing to do, to do that. Score divided by 10. Um, so I get one to keep one tenth of my score or something. Um, and yeah, there are probably more functions in this game that you I need to learn before anything else. So we're back here again. Let's see if I speed this up a bit. I probably will. So I'll see you back when I have I'm at roughly the same place as before. Alright, so now we're back in this corridor with four lives this time because I bought some lives. I lost one of them, but it's alright. Um, four lives should be enough to get through this, even with those kicky guys fanning about here. Um, now we have a pipe, so... <laughs> Just keep <laughs> flailing with it. <laughs> Like a madman. Now we are the one who is who are bringing the business here. All the business are being brought, which will enough business to bring the the town back to its feet, I guess. And then the kicky guy comes and kicks me because that's how he rolls. There we go. Just a kick to the to the face, and he's in the corner, and he's. Yeah, headbutting a bit, but he knows, knows he's done for getting a chicken and uh, some points and some more points. So extra life in 4000 or something. And um, here's the kinky lady who whips her guys into submission or well, into berserk mode or something. Uh, well, they, they don't react to taking hits, at least. So, <laughs> but I, I do. I react to taking hits, which is unfortunate. Otherwise, this, uh, this lady is not that bad. Uh, she doesn't do a whole lot by herself. Uh, so, she just produces guys who are kind of hard to kill. Uh, which I realized in a bit. I didn't even notice that they were hard or anything the first time around, but this time I see that they change hair color and everything. And when a person changes color of the, the color of the hair, you know they mean business. Uh, uh, so I use a couple specials because I can, and then I go to take the chicken. Yeah, I try to. You try to 
whip your friend there. Oh, you whip me instead. It's actually better, I think, that she whips me than uh, the other guys. Yeah, that's not beyond hit hitting a woman, it seems. I actually actually seems to be enjoying it quite a bit. Of course, I'm yeah, projecting everything on Axel. It's not me who enjoys this, it's Axel. So, that was one stage through. And D-Rank, yeah, yeah. Give me that D-Rank. It's a rank rank, I will say. And, oh my, now that hurts. But it would hurt even more if we were to <gasps> crash. <laughs> because she is mad and stuff. Insane even. Old Pierre. Old Pierre. Let's go and see what Old Pierre is all about. Yeah, it's all about ladies with chain belts and stuff. Uh, they are better jumpers than me. And uh, better everything than me, I guess. Not really. I'm a better uh, wife beater or <laughs> something. I don't know. Yeah, something, something about that. The style of Axel with, with his beard and muscly arms and... Uh, yeah, everything, and and him beating up women on top of on top of that. Yeah, doesn't feel super great. But of course, if you should be, if you're going to be a proper feminist, it shouldn't matter if you beat up on boys and girls. Well, perhaps it should because uh, men are by nature stronger. I tried to go down this hole, by the way. Which leads to Axel killing himself, and now, now we know. It's research. Trial and error, everybody. So yeah, I don't know about that ramble about uh, how you should be a proper feminist, but uh, basically, don't use violence is uh, how to be a good person. Uh, disregarding isms and everything. So don't take this game into reality is probably the best advice you can give someone and I am starting to look at that chicken with lust in my eyes and I grab it ow um, so they have nasty upper cuts those Donovans I like that uh, the characters are uh, the same as they always were with uh, new graphics and stuff only Anyway, an apple and Munmuns, and of course they try to surprise me, but Axel is not a man to be surprised by women. Yeah, that looks nasty. Although he's, he doesn't have a whole lot of stuff. He has an extra star now. It's basically Mario. Feels like the superest of Marios at this point. But Star doesn't give invisibility or invincibility. And I start muttering about these knife guys because I hate them. And they have always been uh, terrible for you in all Streets of Rage games. Those guys who just um, go with a knife in front of them like that and I start complaining about the 3D of the game also because I suck and um, they can uh, actually attack diagonally which I can't um, feels kind of unfair and here comes cop cops should have realized they were somewhere here somewhere around here and they mix me up with the ruffians, ruffians even though I am an actual good guy I don't know why they don't see that I'm I'm a good guy I'm trying to help everyone I've been beating up this up on these 
like criminals all through the stage and then they mess with me and yeah they mess with me even more yeah very annoying there we go cops a cop beater also yeah he's not getting many points for yeah nice teamwork donovan Um, yeah, not gonna getting many moral points here. I don't think there is a moral system in, in the game. It's just beat, beat up on everyone who is in your vicinity. And nice quick avoid there. And then there's just you and me. And I'm gonna beat your shield and I'm, I'm gonna beat you. And taking a chicken and an apple for some reason. Um, so I might as well take the apple and I hope the game doesn't trick me with um, getting the baton also. I hope the game doesn't trick me and you die from jumping down there. But Alright, so now we're in the, I don't know, below the bridge, beating up on everyone like before. It's what the game's about. Once more, Axel is in a bit of trouble because he has um, zero life and uh, yeah, zero life. And they broke my, not only my jaw, but my point streak. And I missed the guy I wanted to hit with that one. And ow. And once more, it's the knifey guy who gets me, or it's the, um, uh, he has some sort of electric thing and I can't hit him because I can't attack diagonally, which I learned the hard way and I die once more. So, which means I get to replay this stage and uh, I will speed that up. So, uh, I guess I'll, uh, I'm gonna switch characters here. I'm gonna switch to my old pal, my old buddy uh, Doyle and uh, or Floyd sorry <laughs> Floyd and yeah have him clear this little misunderstanding up so I'll speed that up and I'll see you later All right, so now we're back at the docks uh, and Floyd has one life, which is better than Axel's zero, I guess. And also he is not taking any shit. Although uh, the jumpy girls are kind of a concern as well as these guys. Yeah, that's, that's how we deal with them. Make sure you get on their level. Or well, you don't want to get on their level your level is much greater than theirs. Ow. And um, then just these punks, the punk rockers, the 90s ruffians, uh, you know, Ninja Turtle style, uh, style ruffians. And now just beat, beat these guys silly. And 60 damage, 63 points. And here we go. The bad cop. 
good cop, bad cop. This is definitely, definitely the bad cop. But I'm not sure she's evil per se. I'm gonna probably eat that chicken soon, like right now, because I can. Ow. At least I got another life here, uh, and it will be useful. Her attacks don't hurt that bad, actually. As you can see on Floyd, he hasn't lost that much life. But this is a throwback to uh, Streets of Rage 1. Uh, your special attack is actually calling that cop who um, shoots like a rocket. Uh, and you need to avoid the rockets, which makes the battle a bit trickier. <laughs> but it tosses her like nobody's business. And she flays, flays her around a bit. She's certainly quicker than Floyd. But basically, uh, a refrigerator is quicker than Floyd, so it doesn't say much. Nice, managed to avoid that. And... Uh, and I figure out that you can use the stars for those kind of ow uh, for those special attacks. Basically, you press two buttons Y and I don't know Z. I don't know what you call the buttons, but you call them something. And uh, now I am in critical condition and uh, dead. So, back for another round. And uh, you really need to uh, prove your worth here. And this is when it starts to get uh, really hot in here, because they throw three grenades at once at you. Uh, ow, and you even get hurt by the fire. So she's... Ugh. She's kind of um, cowardly, like using rockets and stuff. Ow. Didn't work out. And now you need to not get beaten up, Floyd. Now you need to really destroy her. Because, yeah. Oh, and I kill myself because I stand there using the special abilities instead of doing something productive. Like so. Uh, anyway, I, I'm at my last life, so this is probably a good time to just beat the crap out of her, and <laughs> that's a good pose. Uh, yeah, those ro robot arms. Robot arms are nothing to toy with. And uh, Rag T again. Still suck, but that's fine. Um, lifetime score 43,263 and I debate a bit of whether to continue but I decide to do that you won't get away that easily listen lady can't you see the syndicate is behind all this shut it you broke the law and it's my duty to put you in jail central requesting backup send everything you got we're surrounded they won't get us this time. Get ready. And an old friend. Hey guys, lo long time no see. Dad! exclaims Axel. And who might you be? Stand down, officer. I'm with the Special Investigation Forces. Let them go. Piss off. You don't have jurisdiction here. He, uh, kind of intense. Run along. I'll deal with this. Dad, I can't leave you. Sorry, don't worry, sweetheart, I'm back now. I'll be right behind you. Daddy's just gonna talk to the lady. Yeah, that's how all of our guys talk to ladies in this uh, in this game, it seems. But Adam is on unlocked, at least. He's kind of a strong guy. He's the strong guy from the first game. But in that game, he's very slow. I don't know how he is here, but... Anyway, I'm continuing with Floyd for the time being, and if I uh, die or you know, be between between rounds, I'm gonna switch characters, I guess, and try out Adam. And my intention is trying to 
trying out everybody. Yeah, Floyd is beefy. I've always felt drawn to the beefy guys, but probably because I'm not very beefy myself, so they are the ones that least remind me of me or something. I guess all people are like that. But they are more fascinated by people who are more by characters that are something they can't be themselves in real life. It's, it's more escape from reality and what have you to... Um, I don't know about the green gases coming off the chicken, but I don't think Floyd minds very much. Yeah, so... Uh, the more the more the character deviates from your own uh, person, I guess the uh, the more es escape from reality it brings. Uh, what do you call it? Escape from reality, reality escapism. Is that what you call it? Perhaps. Anyway, and here we have a pipe spewing. Uh, green stuff, which is uh, kind of gross. I guess it's gas, and <laughs> he was stupid enough to walk into it. I'm not gonna. And he gets brought the business of that pipe, which saves me for a bit. And he headbutts me, but that's of no conse consequence. His kicks are what I'm worried about. Out. And there we have it. Now another kicky guy, not my favorite, but we'll have to fight through it in any way possible. Garcia and BT, is that his name? Uh, when I'm playing, it's it's like I am. Oh, I need to focus on whatever on uh, uh, on playing the game correctly, or, or in, uh, well, I don't play correctly in any way. But I need to focus a lot, so I can't read the names really. But now I can check it out, and then I die horribly because I'm stupid. And then there's the chicken. Ow. And he throws a pipe at me. The same guy from before, I think. And he jumps and does stuff. That actually does some damage. Some decent damage. Kubo. And then the gassy guy. Ow. I get gassed again. Or flamed. Or have you? Should probably take the mun months before uh, dealing with these guys, these gentlemen. Big Ben, you're not so big, are you? And the reach is a bit too short for for me to uh, the the reach of the pipe. It's a bit too short for me to, oops, um, to be able to cope with or to uh, get get by his gassy flames. And now I go go up. And the dis disgruntled youth is kicking down the booths, and then he's kicking me. I don't know. Why? What? What I did to him? Is it me he's disgruntled with? Just everyone with robot arm, robot arms, racist, or something, robotist. Ah. And here comes the three little cute biker ladies. Um. They are kind of a throwback to Streets of Rage 2 and 3 and stuff. Yeah, that attack is nice. It's uh, it's just a normal forward-forward push button from 
that has been in all the other Streets of Rage games. So, well, they headbutt you. I want the apple. Give me the apple. I'm trying to take the apple, but I realize I'm holding a lady, so I need to throw her away before I can take the apple. <laughs> and she touches me with her hair, and I just fall over. So as long as you avoid that headbutt, you're quite good against the, those girls. And I heard they come with pool sticks. Apparently that's the new thing. It's kind of classic bar fight thing, fighting with pool sticks. Apple and star and a super biker chick or something. And she is very aggressive. <laughs> but I just stand around hitting the air and she runs into it, so I guess we're good. And I really realize there's some sort of fire thingy there. Didn't do a whole lot, but yeah. At least they're kind of slow in building up to that headbutt, so you get quite good heads up. <laughs> um, picking up the chicken, everything is well in the world, I got an extra life and extra munmuns building up towards an, another extra life if, if that is something that I can get here so it's not just you and me honey yep, she's actually called honey honey and sugar and uh, sugar and stuff is what they are called these guys and Wu is behind the counter, which is cool. <laughs> and let's bring her the last of the business. And I don't know why they bring you apples and chicken at the same time, but anyway, taking the months and everything. Hi Wu. I I want I want a beer. You have beer, don't you? Oh, you don't speak human. I don't speak Roo, so let's just continue to an old acquaintance, yeah, Barbon from Streets of Rage 2, and he's kind of nasty, um, and kind of quick, a bit too quick for uh, for Floyd, to be honest, but that attack still gets people. And I shouldn't go near him while, while he's charging up like that, Mega Man style. Because I can't really hurt him and he just fails at you. Well, I don't know if I hurt him, but... Um, but he doesn't get bothered by it. Yeah, you hurt him. And he keeps... Beating me down and stuff. And now he does some super kicky stuff or something, I don't know. And I realize I can use my stars to do stuff. And I can break motorcy motorcycles to get stuff. Uh, which I didn't realize from the very start. So that makes things a bit better, a bit easier. Ow. But I die nonetheless, and uh, I realize I should probably break some mot motorcycles here if I am to win this battle to see if there are some healing items behind them. He's really annoying, Barbon. <laughs> Crap, so now I go about beating the motorcycles because this is a really sticky situation here. There we go, picked up the apple at just the right time, a chicken and we should be all set now. And <laughs> that's quite cocky actually, just the backhand thingy. Another star, and I realize 
why don't I use more stars? So I do just that. And pick up some stuff. And Cybernova once more. And one once more Cybernova and they're all dead. So that's what I should have done from the beginning, I guess. Or well, not from the beginning, but that was a good point of doing point in time to do that at least. Well, that's it, and I decide I I'm gonna stop here with rank C. That's quite good for being me. And um, all is well in the world, I guess. So uh, I hope it was all right to f with me narrating afterwards. But anyway, let's have a cutscene where Axel is driving a motorbike, and that's it. So now we're in Chinatown. But we'll be playing that one next time, hopefully with a mic on. So see you then. Ciao!